A silence so deep, so vast, it makes you question if we're truly alone. What if that silence isn't emptiness, but a veil? What if everything we've been taught, about stars, galaxies, even the shape of space itself, is only part of a greater, hidden reality? What if we're not outside a black hole, but inside one? Now, with the most powerful telescope humanity has ever built, we're beginning to uncover evidence that might turn science on its head. This is not a story of fiction. This is the edge of what we know. And the beginning of something deeper. Black holes. Cosmic beasts of infinite gravity. They devour stars, bend light, and warp time itself. Not even photons, the fastest travelers in the universe, can escape their pull. Born from the deaths of giant stars, these invisible objects are dense beyond comprehension. A single black hole can weigh more than ten suns, yet be no bigger than a city. They are not holes, but prisons, where space collapses and time falls in on itself. To us, they appear silent. But behind the event horizon, chaos reigns. The idea of such monsters began as a mathematical whisper. Einstein's equations, when pushed to the limit, spoke of singularities, points where the laws of physics break. At first, scientists thought they were just ghosts in the math. Too strange to be real. But then the universe whispered back. X-rays from the hearts of galaxies. Stars dancing wildly around empty centers. Ripples in space-time from cosmic collisions. Proof that black holes are real. And that they are everywhere. So how do you see something that cannot be seen? You don't look at the black hole. You look at its shadow. You watch stars spiral in and vanish. You detect light stretched thin like taffy across the sky. You listen for waves, gravitational echoes from two giants colliding. The universe tells us where they are. But not what they truly are. Every black hole begins with a star's death. A massive star burns through its fuel, collapses under its own weight, and explodes. What's left behind is either a neutron star, or something darker. If the core is massive enough, it falls through itself. No force can stop it. The gravity crushes everything, atoms, space, even time. The singularity forms. Wrapped in an invisible boundary. That boundary is called the event horizon. And once you cross it, you never come back. Not all black holes are the same. Some are as small as a city. Others are titans, millions, even billions of times more massive than the sun. These supermassive black holes sit at the center of nearly every galaxy. Including ours. At the heart of the Milky Way lurks a giant. Sagittarius A. A silent, spinning engine of gravity. Holding our galaxy together. But what if it's not just at the center? What if everything, galaxies, stars, even space itself, is trapped in something larger? What if the entire universe is inside a black hole? A bold theory. And now, thanks to a telescope named James Webb, it's being taken seriously. The James Webb Space Telescope. A machine unlike any built before. Its gold mirrors shine like the sun, floating a million miles from Earth. It sees not with eyes, but with infrared. Peering into the cold, ancient past. It can see light that began its journey over 13 billion years ago. It is humanity's time machine. When it opened its lens, it looked at a simple star. Then, it turned to distant galaxies. It captured spirals of fire. Nebulas like stained glass. And then, it saw something strange. Molecules that should have been destroyed. Have you ever looked up at the stars and wondered what they're hiding? Not just the silence or the sparkling beauty, but something deeper, something terrifying. What if the sky isn't just a void filled with stars? What if it's a boundary, and we are trapped inside? Not inside a galaxy. Not inside the universe. But inside something far stranger, something with gravity so strong, not even light can escape. What if our entire universe is the inside of a black hole? A cosmic prison with curved walls of space and time. 
And now, at the edge of our understanding, a telescope stares into the deep. The James Webb Space Telescope, humanity's most powerful eye in the sky. And what it's finding, is starting to match that impossible theory. To understand this, we must first confront the idea of a black hole. Not a sci-fi portal, not a cosmic vacuum. A black hole is what remains when a massive star dies in fire and collapses into itself. Imagine something ten times heavier than our sun crushed into the size of a city. That kind of mass doesn't just sit still, it bends reality around it. Time slows near it. Light cannot escape it. Space curves into darkness. At the center, a mystery, the singularity. A point of infinite density where physics itself breaks. We can't see inside. But we can see what it does to everything around it. Stars orbit it like moths near a flame. Matter falls toward it and vanishes. Radiation explodes as it devours gas and dust, revealing its silhouette in the destruction it leaves behind. There are many kinds of black holes. Some are born from stars. Small by cosmic standards, yet monstrous to us. Others are supermassive, millions or billions of times more massive than the sun. These giants lurk at the centers of galaxies, invisible hearts of gravitational power. They may shape galaxies, they may influence where stars form. They may even affect where life can rise. And now, for the first time, we have the tool to look deeper. The James Webb Space Telescope was launched not to take pictures, but to pull back the veil on time itself. Unlike telescopes before it, JWST sees an infrared. It can look through cosmic dust. It can see ancient light. It looks so far, it sees galaxies as they were billions of years ago, when the universe was still forming. It captures the faint whispers of stars being born. It reads the atmospheres of alien worlds. But recently, it has turned its golden eye to something more mysterious. Three galaxies. Three monsters hiding in their cores. And near those monsters, black holes, JWST found something unexpected. A strange chemical fingerprint. A cosmic scent. Molecules of carbon, ring-shaped and complex, floating in clouds of gas. These are called polycyclic aromatic hydrocarbons, PAHs for short. They form in dying stars. In cosmic dust, on meteorites. And even, in living cells. In space, they are thought to be the building blocks of life's chemistry. But near black holes, these molecules should not survive. The radiation is too intense. The energy is too violent. And yet, JWST saw them. But they were changed. Small molecules were missing. Charged ones destroyed. Only the largest, most neutral forms remained, hidden in dense gas, like fugitives. This means something more than chemistry. It means black holes don't just destroy, they shape. They influence matter. Possibly even the ingredients for life. And now, the question grows louder. If black holes can bend light, if they can slow time, if they can influence chemistry, 